Hey, Craig here. In this video, I'm going to be uh, unboxing the uh, fog buster and the uh, compressor and installing it on the mill. Right? Okay, this is the uh, Tormach version. Uh, the, one of the differences between the uh, like the little machine shop and Tormach version is that the Tormach comes with the solenoid that you can plug into the mill. Uh, I mean, obviously you can use this for other mills too. Uh, you don't have to buy a separate solenoid if you want to control it with the uh, the controller. Um, get that out. Uh, also, the arm that comes with it is more adjustable. The the one that comes from the little machine shop is just a straight arm. So this one is a little more adjustable, a little more flexible when you're mounting it on the mill there. So, all right, we got that. And of course we have the fog buster itself here. And it has the uh, pressure regulator on it, and the fog buster itself, of course. And it's got uh, two hoses. Uh, one, I guess, is uh, just plain air, and the other one is uh, the, the coolant. Um, right. And what else we got here? You got the mounting bracket. And the bolts to attach it to this and we got some instructions and I think that's it okay I've got the fog buster taken apart partially um, took these two apart and I'm getting ready to put the bracket in that's gonna hold this uh, this is going to need to go in screwed in here first because um, you won't be able to put the, uh, the the screws on those screws on after so I'm going to mount that up and then put the screws on there um, these screws into here are going to have to be pretty tight uh, it's just two screws so When you go to untighten this, you really got to crank on it, so I'm going to put it into a, try to get at least one of them into a, into a stud. Okay. The way the uh, the inlet and the outlet are set up, it's actually going to have have to wrap around this way. It must be easier to mount this on the other side of the mill, um, but I don't really have any room over there. I got the other mill there, and so it's going to have to be over here. Um, so I'm going to end up mounting the uh, the fog buster itself on uh, this side of the mill. Uh, these holes for the mount aren't pre-tapped, but it's just a uh, quarter twenty, so I'm just using my uh, quarter twenty gun tap uh, to tap these down. Okay, well I ended up strapping this uh, back behind this thing using some uh, 
electrical conduit straps, one here and one on here. I took one of these uh, plugs out of here. I had to drill up the uh, the strap in order to get the uh, 3 8 uh, screw through. But I got that strapped on there, so and this right here should be enough to uh, uh, for it to go for the head to go up and down, so. Alright. Okay, well that's what I get for not reading the instructions first. Um, I guess the head of the reservoir here is supposed to be around the same height as where you're going to mount the, the actual fog buster part. Um, I don't know, something about a check valve. If you don't, you have to put a check valve or something. Um, so I've, uh, I've lowered that down here. So. Okay, well the instructions say you're supposed to put the water, the coolant in through the little cap on top here, but I don't have a funnel or anything to put it in, so I just filled this up with uh, half a gallon of water and I'm still using a cool mist here uh, until I get something else uh, but I had figured that uh, for half a gallon you need about uh, one inch of uh, coolant based on the ounce and uh, the height of here so instead of using a, a measuring cup I'm just gonna do it this way I think my took my wife's measuring cup she'd have a a fit here so so I'm just gonna pour it in there until I go down to that line right there mm, I guess I can use this uh, long drill bit here make sure it's clean okay, okay and I'll screw this back in Okay, so that's all set. I guess when I go to add more, I'll have to get a funnel or, or something to, to be able to do that. So, all right. All right, so that's basically it for the uh, installation of the, the fog buster itself. Um, it says you're supposed to keep this, uh, the nozzle, about two inches away from the, uh, the cutting. Uh, where it's being cut, the end of the end mill or whatever. So, all right. So the next step is uh, to run the the airline, and I will do that as part of the uh, the air compressor line. All right. I just thought I'd notice. I thought I'd mention that I noticed in the catalog, um, if you got a regular fog buster without the uh, Selenoid, you can actually buy the selenoid separate. It looks like from Fogbuster. Uh, I'm assuming that's uh, the price, so 38 bucks. That's pretty good, so just thought I'd mention that. All right. Okay. So there it is. It uh, comes with, looks like an air filter. It's a uh, quiet air compressor. I think it's um, uh, 75 dB. And you can see what the uh, The ratings are right there on it. Yeah, there we go. It's a four, it's a one horsepower, four point six gallon. Uh, is it uh, at ninety psi? I'm not going to be running anywhere near ninety psi, but uh, 
so 3.8 at 40 psi so I'm told by Tormac that it should be able to run the power draw bar the automatic tool changer the fog buster and you know the occasional air gun blowing off chips and stuff so and of course you know if you're blowing off chips you probably don't have the fog buster running so all right uh if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh please f feel free to leave any comments in the comment section below uh if you like to subscribe there should be a subscribe button over that way and down below i usually have links to our other videos that i've made all right